we have an example here of uh, using uh, polar coordinate system and determining velocity at a given instant. In this case, our objective is to find velocity when theta equal 30 degrees. What's given in this problem is how the motion of this color along this curved path OC is given by this position vector R which is changing according to that equation 0.2 times 1 plus cosine theta in meters and then <clears throat> also at this instant when theta equal 30 we are told that theta dot which is the rate of change of angle theta or angular velocity in a way is 3 radians per second and as I said our objective is to find velocity at this instant so we say okay in polar coordinate system velocity has two components one component is v sub r which is r dot and the other component is v sub theta which is r theta dot once we have v sub r and v sub theta the magnitude of velocity would be the resultant of the two components so that would be square root of v sub r square plus v sub theta squared so all we need to do here is to have r to have r dot and to have theta dot. Theta dot is already given and we should be able to figure out r and r dot at this instant. So actually r is very easy to determine. r basically is given 0.2 and we need to just plug in theta equal 30. So if we plug in, uh, put cosine 30 there, uh, 1 plus cosine 30 times 0.2 comes out to be about 0 0.3732 meters. Remember, the unit is in meters. Now, the question is, what is R dot? This is what we have to be more careful, the derivative. So this R dot means the rate of change of R, dr dt. Okay? So as we try to take the derivative, and remember, this is R. R is given as 0.2 times 1 plus cosine theta. So first of all, 0.2 is just a constant. Let me go back to black here. So 0.2 is constant. And inside the derivative of 1 is 0. What is the derivative of cosine theta? This is what we have to be careful. Derivative of cosine theta is minus sine theta. But remember, this is rate of change with respect to uh, time. So we have a d theta dt here, which is theta dot actually. So now go ahead and evaluate this at theta equal 30 degrees. Remember, we have to put 30 degrees here for theta and this one is actually theta dot which is 3 radians per second so once we calculate this this comes out to be actually negative 0.3 and this should have uh, let me move this back up here um, this should have uh, point uh, as I said 0.3 and the unit should be meters per second or dot Okay, so we are ready actually to go to the next page and start calculating. So remember, V sub R is R dot. We just calculated R dot. R dot happens to be minus 0.3. And V sub theta is R theta dot. Remember, R was determined <coughs> earlier and it was uh, point. 3732 meters times theta dot which is 3 radians per second so this comes out to be about 1.12 also the unit should be meters per second okay so now magnitude of velocity would be square root of v sub r squared plus v sub theta squared and if you go ahead and do this v sub r remember is minus 0.3 and v sub theta is 1.12 and this should give me give us a velocity a magnitude of velocity at that particular angle theta equal 30 degrees to be 1.16 now I just want to go back to the last page and show you how this is going to look like so remember the r axis is just the extension of the r and that's pretty much theta equal 30 degrees and theta axis would be perpendicular to that and the positive theta axis is determined based on the direction of the way this guy is moving it's rotating counterclockwise 
So now remember, our V sub R came out to be negative 0.3. So negative 0.3 means velocity should be in the uh, negative direction. So that's about 0.3 in the negative direction. Remember, this is positive direction. And V sub theta was about 1.12. So just to be consistent, this is our V sub theta. So this is the 1.12. This is the 0.3. And then the magnitude of velocity, the one that we just calculated in the other page, would be the resultant of these two, uh, which is this guy. And that velocity, by the way, the 1.16, you see, if I draw this carefully, it should be tangent to the path of motion like that. So you have the radial component, negative 0.3, and the transverse component, 1.12, and then the velocity, the magnitude came out to be 1.16.